Finding the perimeter of rectangles, triangles, and other polygons. Perimeter just simply means the distance around something, the distance around the outside. Fences, for example, are put on the perimeter of a property. Let's take a look at a rectangle here. There is a formula that we can use to find the perimeter of a rectangle. That formula is P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Now, we can remember that formula, and it works for a rectangle. But if you don't even want to remember a formula, that's fine. Just remember that we're trying to find the distance around the figure. So if we look at this rectangle, we know that this side is 7 inches. This side is 15 inches. How long is this side? Well, since it's a rectangle, we know that these two sides are the same length. So this is also 7 inches. Then, continue our way around, we've got the top, well, the bottom is 15 inches, so this must be 15 inches as well. Now, we can simply add those up. Okay, 7 plus 15 gives us 22, plus another 7 is 29, plus 15 is 44. So our perimeter of this rectangle is 44 inches. Now, when we label perimeter, perimeter is just a distance, so we just label whatever units that we were given. It's not squared, not cubed, not anything like that. Perimeter is just a distance, so it's just going to be the same units that we were given. We could also use that formula, pop in those numbers that we were given, the length and the width. I'll quickly work that out here just to show that it's the same thing. We have P, 2 times the length is 2 times 15 plus 2 times the width, the width is 7, 2 times 15 is 30, plus 2 times 7 is 14, add those up, and we get, again, 44 inches. So the same thing. Let's take a look at a square. Alright, for a square, we know, what do we know about a square? We know that all the sides are the same length. So we have this side which is 9, this side must also be 9, this side's 9, and this side's 9. So 9 times 4 will give us 36. Our label, miles, so the perimeter of this square is 36 miles. We could also just add the 9's up. 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 9 is 27, plus another 9 is 36 and we get our answer. Let me switch colors here and we'll take a look at the triangle. Okay, in this case we're given the perimeter and we're also given two of the side lengths. We need to find this other one. Well, we know that this plus this plus this is the perimeter and we know what the perimeter is. So to figure out this side we really need to take these two away and then that whatever's left must be this length so we can go ahead and take 54 and from that we're gonna subtract 13 to take off that side 54 minus 13 is 40 excuse me 30 yikes 31 no, 41. Oh, goodness. I'm struggling today. 41. Okay, then we need to subtract this 17. 41 minus 17 would be 24. Oops. I don't want to string those equals together. Should be down here. Okay, 24. So this side length must be 24 feet. Because the perimeter, if we add them all together, 13 plus 17 is 30, plus another 24 gives us our perimeter of 54 feet. So we can work backwards. If we're given the perimeter, we can find one of those side lengths. Let's take a look at this last one. 
Here we have a pentagon, and it's a regular pentagon. We know that because these little hash marks across the sides, that's telling us that those sides are all the same length. We're given that one of the sides is eight centimeters. So we know that this side must be eight centimeters, this side must be eight centimeters, this side must be eight centimeters, and that side must be eight centimeters. So we're going to multiply one, two, three, four, five, eight times five to get our perimeter, which will be 40 centimeters. When we're finding perimeter, remember perimeter is just a distance around something. We can just add up the side lengths. For rectangles, we have a special formula we can use. But if you can just remember, we're adding up the side lengths. We can work backwards if we're given the perimeter and given a couple of the other sides. We can find whatever the missing side is. And remember, the label is going to be the same as whatever the labels were that on the given side lengths because perimeter is just a distance.